Hello Radiant Pearl. I am so joyful about the experience and the journey that we're on together with our scripture writing challenge. And I just wanted to be obedient in making sure that I come and greet you face to face today. I wanted to try to do it every other day and we just want, no matter what's going on in life, to make it a priority to really be obedient and listen for what God is speaking. And He's surely speaking during this time that we're spending in Scripture together to write the Scripture, to pray the Scripture, and then, of course, to speak the Scripture. And so it's just incredible what God has done so far. And none of it would be possible without first and foremost him, his leading, his direction, but also you, those of you who are coming along on the journey, a part of our community, sharing it with others, and really spending time in committing yourself to this process and to this journey of scripture writing, no matter the challenge, which we'll talk about in this video, testing, trying different things, applying different tips, seeing what works for you. It's all a part of the growing experience. And so I want to make sure to welcome you as a Radiant Pearl because you may not know me and you may not know this if this is the first time you're watching a video. If you have watched a video with me, welcome back because you are already a part of the family and this would not be possible without you engaging, sharing and committing yourself to this exciting and amazing journey. But I want to make sure that you know it is my mission to encourage you in your faith and providing a plethora of resources to allow you to fearlessly create and get creative as you are made in the master's creator image, right? Knowing that we are like him. He creates beautiful things and you two, us together, we are creating beautiful things. And so you'll see that as we continue on, I'll continue to share new things because I'm getting so many downloads and I'm just amazed at God because that is what happens, I believe, when we are passionate, we're on a mission, and we're purposeful in the endeavor that God has given us. And so I cannot wait to continue to cheer you on and to hear the impact as I've been hearing through the emails you've been sending, through social media. And I just want to remind you, it's never too late. If you're just coming upon this for the first time, this challenge this journey begins when you see it when you start and remember just 30 days of committing yourself 30 days of tracking that habit so that it will ultimately become a habit i'm telling you i'm blown away that god has done so much not even a full week into our challenge i cannot wait and imagine what incredible things he has in store for us as we draw closer to that 30 days and that day 30 <laughs> that we've completed this particular challenge. So I'm excited. I hope and pray that you are as well. And I'm looking forward. I wanted to just switch up also the camera angle in the space that I've created for this purpose of us creating together fearlessly and radiantly. And so I hope you enjoyed this time face to face. Now let's get into the word, right? Radiant girls read and write scripture. We've got that in all of our sheets. We're doing it now. <laughs> all right, see you over there on my table. Our steps are ordered by the Lord. He is all powerful, all knowing. And I am just so excited about what God is doing, what he is getting ready to do as we delve deep in this scripture writing on this particular day for Isaiah 26 that we'll be focusing on. Believe it or not, this is the third time that I am recording this particular video and I know it's because there is something powerful for you to receive and God's gonna get the glory in it all, right? Yesterday, we took the time to talk about ascribing glory to the Lord and it's just 
such a beautiful reminder when things don't go as planned. <laughs> Even in this moment, I originally started my introduction just sharing my excitement and I am still ever so excited about the journey that we are on together. And doing this scripture writing has just brought so much enrichment and joy in my time in the word, writing, reflecting, praying, speaking the word, and then doing it in community with you, those of you on this challenge, on this journey. And it's amazing to see going to bed with the scripture being the last thing that we write and reflect on and seeing the difference that makes and then rising up in the morning and letting that be the first thing that you do as well and seeing the effect of the the word washing over you before you lay your, your head to rest and then when you rise up in the morning if it's possible making it the very first thing that you spend time with God in his word in writing in prayer and in reflecting on his goodness and so this scripture that is tapped perfect peace I've started writing here and we're going to continue to write, but I wanted to spend some time in breaking it up in sections. And that's the beauty, I believe, of starting first thing, um, if you can, in the morning, giving yourself that time, that grace, so that when things arise and happen out of your control, you don't feel rushed or overwhelmed. And that's very possible right life is unpredictable and so when you have that opportunity for a verse like this that is longer not to overwhelm yourself and say okay I'm gonna break up the time that I spend here to receive what I need and just spending time with God throughout your day that I think will do absolutely incredible things and so I just want to spend some time uh, just stating what I've written since we ended up losing those two videos for different reasons and now we're going to be able to just do things a little bit differently. The Song of Judah. On that day this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. Salvation is established as walls and ramparts. Open the gate so a righteous nation can come in, one that remains faithful. Let's highlight some of the things here that really is worth pointing out. We have a strong city. Song will be sung in the land of Judah. Open the gates, righteous nation, come in. One that remains faithful. You will keep the mind, keep the mind dependent on you in perfect peace for it is trusting in you. We put our hope and our trust in no one else, nothing else because he is all powerful and everything has to pass through his loving arms. Trust in the Lord. Once again, this trust is a constant and important part of being able to receive that peace, that perfect peace from the Prince of Peace. forever because in the Lord the Lord himself is an everlasting rock he's the same yesterday today and forevermore it's the kind of God we serve for he has humbled those who live in lofty places an inaccessible city so the things that seem inaccessible the th things that seem unsurmountable we serve a God that has access to all those places and he gives access, right? This is a song of Judah that we can proclaim. 
Thank you, Lord, for this reminder. He brings it down to the ground because he's all powerful. There is nothing that can withstand when it tries to rise itself up. The Lord does a really great job of reminding us who he is and who we are in him. He throws it to the dust. Feet trample it. The feet of the humble the steps of the poor. So the feet, humility is vital on this journey and the steps. So no matter who you are, God is for you, right? But he's especially for those who are downcasted, those who are desperate, those who are in need of him. We are in need of him every moment, every hour of the day. We thank you, Lord. So he is fighting for us, right? So let's turn the page here and we can spend some time now in God's people vindicated. And I want to use our purple God's people vindicated. And then we have verse seven. The path of the righteous is level. You clear a straight path. For the righteous. Eight. Yes, Lord, we wait for you. In the path of your judgments. Our desire is for your name and renown. Nine, I long for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me diligently seeks you for when your judgments are in the land the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Ten. But if the wicked man is shown favor he 
he does not see I'm sorry he does not learn Righteousness. In a righteous land, he acts unjustly and does not see the majesty of the Lord. All right, so now we're going to reflect and spend some time in letting these two sections that we've written, letting it marinate throughout this time period before coming back. Letting God have time to minister through his word. You can just spend a little time rereading and letting it really enter into your heart and your spirit. So you can receive that revelation that God wants to give you today. Oh, my radiant pearl friends. So we are back as we are scripture writing throughout the day. And it is late afternoon going into evening. And wanted to spend some time in returning back to the word that we wrote as was encouraged uh, earlier when we took the time to write both sections and we're taking our time through the word and I don't know if you noticed but something came while we took a break and I just couldn't wait I am so excited as pieces come in for our upcoming scripture writing kit and just look how glorious look how gorgeous this is with our gems and just really complementing our amazing amazing design and scripture writing journal and all of these are being reproduced with some additional upgrades and exciting things in the work so i'm going to go ahead and get this particular scripture writing sheet out of course uh, included in the scripture writing kit will be these sheets as well with some amazing dashboards gold foiling detail y'all uh, it's a work a labor of love and I just cannot wait for you to see all that is in store and while we are waiting we are enjoying all of the things that technology has afforded us <laughs> right where we can print things use it digitally and spend some time in the Word of God without even waiting. So, you spend some time in reflecting and we're gonna just continue where we left off from so we can have that continuation. So first, let's go ahead and note here the different pieces that we want to highlight. So. God's people vindicated. And this time I want to use some color pencil. So let's do that and use some of this yellow color. So the path of the righteous is level. Look at that. Righteous level. You clear a path. Things are clear for us. A straight path, not just any path for the righteous. Once again, righteous is repeated. Yes, Lord, we wait for you in the path of your judgments. Our desires for your name, our desire, your name and renown. I long for you in the night. Yes, long night. 
Yes, my spirit within me diligently, my spirit diligently seeks you. For when your judgments are in the land, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. So we learn righteousness. We are born into sin, but we learn righteousness. And what else? Judgments, land. But if the wicked man is shown favor, favor, he does not learn righteousness. Once again, learn. We learn righteousness. So let's go ahead and make sure that we point that out as a repetition. In a righteous land, he acts unjustly. Righteous land. Land, once again, that is repeated unjustly and does not see the majesty of the Lord. See majesty and, of course, of the Lord. Majesty of the Lord. All right. So now we are going to let that continue to marinate as we normally do. And we are going to continue with our scripture writing so that we are able to enjoy. And I just out of habit picked this one up. <laughs> ah, we just have a few more of these left in the shop just in time for the new ones that will be a part of our kit. So we are going to just go ahead and continue from verse 11. Oh, first time writing with this and oh, it's just so smooth. So Lord, Your hand is lifted up to take action. But they do not see it. Let them see your zeal for your people and be put to shame. Let fire consume your adversaries. Then we start with 12, so we do want to continue to highlight. And this is 12. Lord, you will establish peace for us. What a beautiful visual here. What God is going to do for You have also done all our work for us. Lord, we are continuing on with verse 13. Our God Lords 
other than you have owned us But we remember your name alone. Fourteen. The dead. Do not live. Departed. <coughs> Excuse me. Departed spirits. Do not rise. Up. Indeed, you have punished and destroyed them. You have wiped out all memory of them. You have it's fifteen. Added to the nation. Lord. You have added to the nation you are honored you have expanded All the borders of the land. Verse 16. Lord, they went to you in their distress they poured out whispered prayer Prayers because you discipline them.
No, because your discipline fell on them. As a pregnant woman, about to give birth, writhes and cries out in her pains. So we were before you, Lord. Eighteen. We became pregnant We writhed in pain. We gave birth to the wind or to wind. We have won. No victories on earth. And the earth inhabitants have not fallen. Nineteen. <clears throat> Your dead will live. Their bodies will rise awake and sing you who dwell with in the dust For you will be covered once again that shelter being covered by the Lord with the morning to you and the earth. will bring out the departed spirits twenty.
go, my people. Enter into your rooms. And close your doors behind you. Hide for a little while. The wrath has passed. For look, the Lord is coming from his place. And so we have 21 starting this particular verse. And we are at the end here. From his place to punish. The inhabitants. Off the earth for their iniquity. The earth reveal the blood shed. On it and will no longer conceal her slain. So much to consider here in this particular writing and so let's just spend some time highlighting as we've been doing here. And as always, looking at what is discussed before and after can help give you that context. And also looking at why this particular book was written. You know, this particular Bible does uh, give you an introduction to this book and of course, getting an idea here from or the very, very beginning to read and understand what this book is all about. So read and understand Isaiah. The Bible is a complete work in which many stories combine to tell one story. As you read the book of Isaiah, of Isaiah, consider reading the additional passages to discover the whole of Scripture or how the whole of Scripture works together. So what I love is if you want to go deeper, you can have an idea with the timeline that is provided. And I did do a review on this Bible as well as some additional scriptures. And that's the beauty of taking time to write scripture throughout the day if it's possible so you can do it in that same day or you can return to it um, as you set it in your schedule and make some time because we know there's always things to do so lord your hand is lifted up and your hand lifted to take action but they do not see it. Let them see your zeal. 
let them see zeal for your people and be put to shame your people put to shame let fire fire consume your adversaries Lord you will establish peace establish peace for us for you have also done all our work for us have done all have also done all your our our work for us God is for us Lord our God Lord have other than you have owned us but we remember owned remember your name alone your name alone the dead do not live departed spirits do not rise up do not live departed spirits do not rise up spirits departed do not rise up indeed you have punished and destroyed them punished destroyed you have wiped out all memory you have wiped memory of them our God is all-powerful right what he is able to do for us you have added to the nation when he removes he also adds you have added to the nation and this is a couple of repetition here you have added to the nation you are honored you have expanded that is in the building business I tell you all the borders of the land Lord <clears throat> they went to you in their distress went distress they poured out whispered prayers because your discipline discipline fell on them as a pregnant woman about to give birth writhes and cries out in her pains so we were before you Lord we became pregnant we withheld or we writhed pain we gave birth gave birth to wind we have won no trees on earth and the earth's inhabitants have not fallen your dead will live their bodies will rise yes there's victory that is coming thank you Lord awake and sing you who dwell in the dust dwell dust for you will be covered covered with the morning dew think on that and the earth will bring out the departed spirits earth go my people go enter into your rooms close your doors behind you hide for a little while until the wrath has passed. Wrath passed. For look, the Lord is coming. We don't talk enough about his, his coming, the rapture. The Lord is coming. Let's never forget that he is coming very soon. And I know we've been hearing that for a while, but we are living in the times where there are wars and rumors of wars and we have to look up and we have to consider what God provides, that perfect peace that comes from Him and Him alone. From this place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. 
right? We are born in sin, but we are redeemed. Thank you for your redemption power, God, and how we are covered by the blood of the Lamb, like with the morning dew. The earth reveal the blood shed out on it and will no longer conceal her slain. So we are able to rise again because we have been able to die to so many things and we live in him.